What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Duel video. Today we are going to be using the same deck that I was using the other day, just grinding out some wins because I need to get to the 30 win streak that or the 30 win streak. I need to get to 30 wins period, all right? Let's not go that far. 30 win streak would be stupid. But uh I need to get 30 wins so we can get Dark Rise so I can demo him in some videos for you guys. And I really I really want to get 50 wins because I've heard that two dark rye are necessary to make the optimal dark rye deck with a sleep based uh, focus to it so that's something i'd really like to do and i'm hoping i can manage to get there with only a couple days left i'm a little scared that i'm not going to meet it obviously i'm going to get 30 though there's no no if and or buts about it i'm just i'm getting 30 it's happening you know i'll grind it out that night if i need to but you know it it might be a little difficult so let's just get right into some matches guys All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into our first match of the day. It's going to be up against Knight, who has a Moltres, Zapdos, Mew, Cobalion, Magikarp, and a Gyarados, and Yvettle. Only a chain level on that Magikarp, probably on Gyarados as well, if I'm being honest. But uh, nothing on any of the EXs, so we're definitely at a pretty even-ish matchup here. I feel pretty good about this one. Little scared of the Moltres, but I think that my Chestnut actually is going to prove to be a pretty formidable opponent for it, so... Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and put Mew in front of Yvettel right there. I'm gonna check Gyarados real fast. It is a chain level 2 Gyarados, almost 3, wow. That's a little scary. Okay, well, Mew's gonna go down right now. I think I'm gonna put... I guess Sceptile up against it. Sceptile sounds good, good thing to put up against a Mew, because obviously does have the 90 power physical, which beats out the two physicals that Mew has. Uh, unless it rolls into a 140 respin, but you know, that happens sometimes. It's no biggie if it does. So, now I'm a sad person because I didn't want to have to deal with a hurdle jump early on in this match. So we're actually going to use a goal block, go one for one, even though I really, really don't want to deal with that right now. I really don't. We're not going to lose our Sceptile that early on just because of a uh, one for one plate trade. I'm just not too keen on that. So... Gold block goes down, protect my Sceptile from getting surround killed. That's just really important to me right now. We're going to throw up... Oh, God. We're going to throw Zapdos up against... Uh, <laughs> We're going to throw Zapdos up against Magikarp right now. Might not be the best idea, but should get us a little bit farther in this game at least. Um, and then we'll put... We're going to put Chestnut up against Zapdos. I, li I like that matchup a little bit. I think that physical versus physical, I win every matchup but uh obviously thunder crash can go up against oh the purple the two star purple you know what i mean double chance going down you're obviously going for the win right there uh but we're gonna hammer arm that's actually or that was a was that an x attack that went down what was that that just went down x attack okay okay i'm not losing my mind that much yet you know it's all good guys it's all good that we're gonna be able to put out our second yvettel in just a second and but yeah, Zapdos, I think we might attack Zapdos. I think I might double chance Zapdos right now. Ooh, I see you there. That's a little scary. I'm not too happy about that one. Have another Yvettel that we can set down in front of Zapdos, but that's not a very good matchup, so it's a little scary to do that. I think I'm going to actually advance right now against Magikarp. Just sort of threaten something. Just threaten a little something something, you know? Just fly right over top of him. You know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, and we're not going to do that now, so that kind of sucks. I'm going to... Double chance isn't worth it with Mew, I don't think. God, that's scary, man. That's scary. We're going to move left with Sceptile and then put one of our Yvettles down on the goal. Then we're going to farther try to take out that Mew. If I can take out the Mew, I can start moving up the left side, force Cobalion to move to the left side. And then we'll be able to fly over it with Zapdos. But we're going to see an attack on Mew anyways. And that's going to be real bad if it goes bad for us. Ah, no! Not good, guys. Not good. We're going to, like, really, really not have a good time with this whole thing going down right now. This is really bad because we have to protect from Zapdos right now. Zapdos could fly over, take over our second entry point. We need to win this right now. Uh, the roll did not go in our favor, unfortunately. I'm going to just double chance... Sceptile and go for it. I'm just going to go for it, guys. We need to get some sort of advantage before we lose that. And we're actually going to. We're going to take out Mew right now. That's just really great for us. I can't express 
how amazing that is right now because we're going to be able to start moving forward with Sceptile. And that means that Cobalion's going to need to defend or we're going to get all the way up the lane and start threatening the game. That's probably not a place our opponent wants to be at. That's going to be a Thunder Crash versus a Flail. We're going to knock it out. Gyarados is going to come out and that's going to be terrifying because that thing is a buff Hyper Beam. And that's not cool, man. That's not cool. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. Not cool. We don't have any gold block left, so I can't overextend. So I probably shouldn't be putting my Sceptile forward. That's probably going to be pretty bad for us when we lose, inevitably lose, I might add, our Zapdos to this Gyarados right now. There's just no way. Double chance. You're double chance. You're going to knock it out. There's no way. There's just no way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Getting knocked out. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. We're going to lose two figures to the one figure. And I'm going to move forward and just hope that he flies that Zapdos right over top so I can surround kill it. That's really what I'd like right now if we could surround kill that Zapdos. It's not going to happen, but whatever. If we could knock that out. Nah! Nah! Mm, mm, not a fan. Not a fan, guys. Not a fan. Whoa! Kind of have to defend right now, don't I? Kind of have to defend. We'll move back with our Sceptile, which is just not not a fun sentence to say. Really, probably going to see an advance from Moltres to challenge the game right now. Probably not going to go on that entry point. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. You might as well. And then attack. Oh, Roost. Okay. Well, we've got a free turn. We've got a free turn. So I guess, I guess we can move forward. We've got a free turn. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just get a surround kill on that chestnut. Just kill it. Just kill it. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Just kill the chestnut. Just just kill the chestnut. Just do it. Just kill the chestnut. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all I need. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move Mew right back there so we threaten a surround kill in the case that he does decide to go over on our other entry point, forcing him to let us get our Zapdos out there. So uh, and, and like, God, having five figures versus four just is such a crazy disadvantage right now. Really, really not okay with that. Um, yeah, the 5v4, because otherwise there'd be a hole somewhere right now, you know? You wouldn't be able to advance with something. I'd be able to advance somewhere. You know what I'm saying, guys? I'm going to just advance with Zapdos and just hope I can fly right over top. Oh, boy. We've got a clear road to victory right now, but, you know, that, that Cobalion's terrifying, so maybe not. We're obviously going to X-Attack it, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, man. Okay. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm good. You're going to Thunder Crash me right now. I'm going to lose the game. Oh, Thunder Charge, man. Thunder Charge. I'm down for that. Let's go ahead and just... We'll just fly right over top there, force him to defend with Cobalion. Do you have any defenses? You do not, so you're going to have to defend with Cobalion. Or attack with Yvettel and just risk the whole game right now. I mean, yeah, but you're not going to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to X attack. Oh boy, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Can it happen for us? Can we make the Thunder Crash into a physical happen? We cannot. We can't even get, we can't even get the Thunder Charge to happen right. Can't even happen right, guys. Won't even happen for me. This is not good because Moltres can threaten right now. Moltres can threaten us pretty badly right now, actually, by just flying over top and going to that entry point. And that's exactly what Moltres is going to do. What do I want to defend with against a Moltres? Probably Yvettel. Probably Yvettel. Because we're going we're gonna to hurdle jump right now. Moltres is going to soar over top, surround kill the Sceptile, and then, or defend against Zapdos with. Maybe I should have done Mew. I goofed. I goofed. I thought we were going up against the other thing. It's all good, actually. Never mind. What am I even talking about? We don't have any plates. No plates versus no plates. We're at such a heavy disadvantage. Oh, God. I was going to, I was just about to finish the sentence if we lose this. And then suddenly we lose it, and it's over. It's over. We actually have one Pokemon on board after this trade right now, unless our opponent's dumb, which they're not. I doubt it. I really doubt it.
Okay. Never mind. Uh, our opponent's not dumb. Never mind. I'm, I'm just saying things. You know what I'm saying, guys? I just say things sometimes. But still, that is a... I, I think a strange decision. I think it's a strange decision. Here's the deal. Uh, we gotta move that, Yvettel. We cannot get a draining win next turn, or we just lose ourselves the match. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, you're gonna just minus one... Or get rid of the minus one counter on your MP right there. No, you're gonna advance Gavalian, so there's no way I can pull myself out of this hole I'm in. We'll attack right now. Oh! Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Knock out the Zabdos, baby! All right, so you can't directly threaten on both sides anymore unless you advance the Cobalion right now, in which case I will attack that and hopefully take it out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't have any plates. So here's the deal right now, guys. We need to knock out this Cobalion, then we need to knock out... Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. That's, that, that, that's, that's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted at all. Here's the deal. I'm going to move on to that right side right now. I'm going to move... Yvettel over to the goal, and then we're going to attack first Gobalion, and then hopefully take out that Gyarados, which is just so scary. It's just not going to happen. I really doubt it. We've got more bad rolls than good ones in that situation. So, end our turn. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. 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 Oh, man. What's our opponent going to do? Just move your minus one, remove your minus one counter. That's all you gotta do. That's it. That's it. Just move it. Don't have to move anything else. Attack with Cobalion. Oh god. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Our chances just got like really, really bad. But you know what? We got the first, we, we got the first little bit out of the way there. Move. What are you going to move? Yvettel, you're just going to remove your minus one counter. That's all you have to do right now. And you're still on board. I, I don't know what our opponent's going to... Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm... Mm, what do I want to do? I guess we might as well go ahead and just put Yvettel down right now. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hold the phone. So, if I... God, I'm trying to figure out exactly what the best move is. I think it might be to move Yvettel right now. Even though we're not protecting the wall, we need to knock him out right now or roost him. That's not going to happen, unfortunately. We're going to lose the match right now. We're going to lose it anyways, though. To a, sur a surround kill would have happened if nothing else did. So, that was my thought, is even if we, we uh, successfully... Well, no... No, that was just the right decision, guys. We we would have had an extra figure out on board if we would have knocked out Moltres. So we would have lost the match anyways if I would have set him down on the goal and not knocked him out. So that's just how that needed to go. But you know what? It's fine. We'll jump into the next match, and hopefully it's going to go a little bit better than that one did. That one just kind of went back and forth a little too much for my taste. Uh, Cobalion was definitely a god-tier defender, I think, at least in that last match. Not... Obviously not in all matches. It's not an amazing defender overall, but in that particular match, it definitely put in a lot of work. So we're going up against... What's your name? Twizzle, who has a Hydreigon, a Noivern, a Shiftry, a Drapion, a Sneasel, and a Machop. Or Machamp. Machamp, yeah. So we're going to put Yvettel there. I'm going to get a drink of water because I'm dying. All right, what are you going to start off with? Advance with Shiftry. A very, very gutsy decision, my friend. But I will commend you for it. Now here, if we could just attack and get a, get a Thunder Crash. Just get a Thunder Crash. Don't make me embarrass myself in front of the sun. Roost works too. Roost works too. Not really looking for a Roost, but it's better than a miss. You know, better than a miss. That's really it. But the Thunder Crash literally beats Shiftry's entire wheel. The whole thing, you know? Double double hurdle jump, right? Yeah. Whatever, man. You do you. We'll just defend with our Yvettel. You're gonna advance and take out one of my entry points. I'm gonna advance the the Thunder Crashing Beast that is Zapdos. And fingers crossed we can just make something happen right now, you know? I just love to make something happen. 
Advance from Drapion. Now that's that's pretty crazy because I can double chance to knock out Drapion like with a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of uh, confidence, you know? So we're going to double chance and hopefully just knock him out with a Thunder Crash right now. That would just be ideal. Please make this happen for me. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thunder Crash. That should battle armor. Mm -hmm. Forgot about battle armor, guys. Forgot about that. That's a little thing. That's a little thing. Didn't matter, though. Thunder Crash still going to go down against the Venom Web. We are not going to double chance that again. I would not. I would not like to to uh, get anything else. Thunder Crash went down, and now we are threatening the game. You have a goal block. You do, don't you? No, you're going to... What? Excuse me? What were you planning on doing here? You could have used Shift Trees... That must have been a misclick or something. You you meant you meant to activate his ability, right? I guess we'll grab the booster ticket and just run with it, but I have no idea why that just went down like it did. All right, guys, let's get into our third and final match for the day. I have to say I'm extremely pleased with the overall win rate that this deck has. It's just been performing so well for me. I just, again, hit 20 wins, so... We're already looking better than we were the other day when I had like five, okay? And I started using it at five wins. My win rate's hovering around 75 or 80% right now. I mean, it's looking good, guys. It is looking really, really good. Um, I've even won four out of five as I've recorded with it so far. So this is going to be a deciding factor in whether or not it's kind of ridiculous or somewhat ridiculous still. But I still have well over 50% if I win... Four out of six of them, so, you know, two out of three, 66%, not bad. Eh. Eh. Oh, this is terrible. I hate Terrakion so much. Going up against it is just, like, could I just not? Could I just forfeit and just pretend that I'm not playing this right now, you know? Not a fun uh, figure to go up against in this particular gym cup. When it's normally being played, most of the time I have a beater that can beat it, but... Nothing can beat 140 Stone Edge, 121 Sword of Justice with beatdown. I mean, that is just ridiculous. So, I'm not a fan, really, of how things are going with it. I should have moved inside that time. That was stupid. What am I doing? Huh. <sighs> All right. So, who are we going to see now? We're going to see Heat Ran. Now, Heat Ran versus Chestnut is not bad for us, I have to say. Having those two physicals that it can beat physical, I mean, that's good. In my opinion, anyways, we're going to send out Yvettel up against Moltres, which is not a great matchup. But if we can just take out something early, just something, that's all. Um, then maybe that matchup won't be as scary because we can just X attack it and play the aggressive role here. I guess that would be ideal right now is if we could be aggressive and knock out just just two figures and make it so we're on a little bit more even of a playing field, especially with Shuppet there. I mean, if Shuppet's one of the ones that is still on board, then that's going to be great for us. Unfortunately, Draining Wind's going down right now. We're going to have to just put our Zapdos right there because there's no way I'm opening things up to let that Magikarp in. We will then let our Zapdos have its MP back. Then we're going to put Zapdos back, most likely, unless we see an advance somewhere else, possibly. But uh, then we're probably going to go on the offensive, try to go physical versus physical against that Moltres. That would be great if we could just get rid of that thing. Because that, um, that chain level is not good, especially for our Chestnut. But yeah, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it, even though the odds aren't great. One in four to grab a physical right there. God dang it, man. Well, Dark Mist is actually great as well. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you really have chain level on Steel Wing? I just assumed it was going to be on Crushing Flames or Crushing... Is it Crushing Flame? Crushing Flames? Yeah, Crushing Flames. Yeah, I assumed it was going to be on Crushing Flames. Never mind, we are good, guys. That is just awesome. Physical versus physical is going to be neutral or better for us now. So, if we can hit another Dark Mist, then we are just golden. I can't believe that. I've never seen someone put it on Steel Wing before. What matchup does that even help? Uh, feel free to comment in the comment section below. What matchup does it help when you put a chain level on Steel Wing? 
because I've never, ever seen a chain level on Steel Wing before. That just blows my mind. I guess we'll just attack. God, Dark Mist needs to go off one more time, and we are just solid. We are just so good with this. If that could just happen right now, I would be so, so happy, you know? Attack on Mew? No, don't do this. You don't want to do this. You don't. You don't. That's an advance attack on Mew. We need to take out Moltres before he takes out Mew. Flame charge. Uh, uh, uh. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Please don't do this. You, you're going to burn both of them. Don't do this. Oh, God, no. Uh, Not cool. Not cool. Not happy about that, guys. Not at all. And that's going to be back down to 100. Roost is going to go down. What's our game plan here? What do we even need to do? I mean, I guess we can take advantage of the fact that our other Yvettel is going to be buffed, but we really can't because there's nothing to take advantage of. Like, there are no matchups where it's going to be taken advantage of. So, I'm not sure what to do. I guess... You know what? You know what? Let's just... <sighs> I don't like risking things like this, but we'll go for the stealth hit. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, you're kidding. You better not do this to me, game. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That's not good. That's a surround kill for free and an advance against us with a shuppet, which is terrifying. All around, not a fan. Not a fan at all. I guess it's not too horrible, even though we're losing the first figure. Oh, you're threatening, and now we need to move in. God, this is bad. We need to, what, take out Heat Ran now? What's our next step? We can't rely on either of the burnt figures anymore. We need to take out Heat Ran and threaten a surround kill. Yeah, that's about not how you do it. That's about as far as how you do it as you could possibly be. Getting everything burnt is pretty terrible, not gonna lie. Um, I don't see very many ways we win this match. I'm gonna continue playing it, obviously. We're gonna play it out and make sure that there's no way to win, but I'm really not feeling it right now. We actually had the opportunity to hurdle jump and trade the hurdle jump for it. We probably should have done that, really. That was a little bit of a strange hurdle jump, in my opinion. You're opening us up so I can move forward with Chestnut without much of a care, but okay. And attack the Mew. It's going to be a miss and do a Stone Edge. Ah! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, our... God dang it. Our purple's going to... We lost it. We lost it, guys. Oh, Protect goes down, though, so that's all right. I'd rather have a Sceptile than a Burnt Chestnut. I think we'll try to knock out Shuppet real quick, though. I don't know. The matchup with that Terrakion is just horrifically bad for us. It's really tragic, really. Um, that's a Will-O-Wisp into a miss. Watch us get knocked out by a Shuppet. Physical versus miss. I bet that's gonna go down right now. Or you could just surround kill him. If you did that, you'd be doing me a favor, you know? You could just do that real quick. You didn't! You're going for the win! Oh no! Okay, Dark Mist. That's great. That's actually great. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. We're going to back it up. Back things up a little bit. Back it up. And now, now we're okay to... Well, I shouldn't have done that, actually. That was really dumb. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What if this is a knockout? Ah, it is. God, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're going to have to defend with a burnt Pokemon. Oh, my God. That is so bad. Everything about how this is going right now is just tragic, really. So, what, we're going to have to defend by throwing Sceptile at Terrakion and hoping we either hit a miss, which is not going to happen. Oh, God. Wow. This is... Everything derailed so quickly. I don't even know what to say. We need a stealth hit right now. We can't get a stealth hit. What am I talking about? Well, that's... I guess that gives us one turn, right? That gives us literally a single turn. Um, we can't do much with that. It goes back to the same thing. So wait, I, ne I need to double roll Leaf Blade, which is already one in four. Again, Sword of Justice, which is another 
Oh, one in two. So we got like a one in eight of even being able to survive. And then we're going to have to take out... Yeah, this is not going to... We need so, so ridiculous odds right now to happen. I was like, oh my god, we're going to start it. It's starting. And nope. Nope. It's, it's done, guys. It is done. Oh god. Terrakion really is just unbeatable in this. You just can't beat it. Like, I guess... What, isn't, uh... Isn't Poliwhirl good up against it? Poliwhirl's so situational, though, and I haven't been facing too ridiculously many Terrakions, and I have beat them a couple times by stalling with Mew and then just beat downing the rest as they go around, like, the other side. You know, that's happened a couple times. We'll open up this booster and call it a day. Even though we do have... Uh, we did or we did lose a couple times today. We still have a 66% win percent for just matches on video, much higher off video as well, because I'm just a better player when I'm not commentating. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you back here for the next video very, very shortly. And until then, peace.